Hello, Les from Thailand here, from a rainy Thailand today, raining outside today, but it's been the worst rain in Thailand for almost 50 years according to the Thai locals. I've lived here now in Thailand for nine years and I've never known it rain this much during the rainy season. But never mind, hey ho, that's the way it goes. Today's video is going to be about how you can save money in Thailand on car insurance. Um, I've lived in Thailand now for, for nine years and I've had a car for seven years out with them nine years. So I shop, I always shop around for the best value of everything and as most people would know that who's followed my channel I actually bought a, a brand new car last year. So therefore my first insurance premium was with Nissan Insurance and it's up for renewal next month when the car's a year old. Now Nissan have rang me, Nissan dealers have rang me, other insurance companies involved with Nissan have rang me for the past two months now trying to get my insurance premium off me for next month. Now uh, to give you some details or uh, some examples, they started off at 19,500 to insure my 500,000 baht car. Now I thought that was quite expensive, like 19,500 baht for a 500,000 baht car, which is the brand new price. But they would only cover it for 380,000 baht, so it wasn't even for a, a, new, a new car. 380,000 baht for 19,500 baht's worth of cover. It seemed rather expensive to me. So that was with a, a Nissan dealer to repair the car in the event of an accident. That was with a, a no no claims bonus um, because we had a, a bit of an accident in the car three or four months after we, we bought it. A truck overtook us, dropped some stones and, and bricks off the side of the lorry and it dented the side of the door and it broke one of the windows. So we had to put it in for a, a repair and we sent it to the Nissan dealer to get repaired. We weren't happy with the repair, so it went back twice. So, so therefore that, that's the getting the repair done by a Nissan dealer. So shopping around for an insurance court, we went to various agents, we made various phone calls, looked on the internet and we came up with what I think is, is a good deal. And in Thailand, the insurance works a little bit different. If you want the insurance to repair the car at a dealership, like for us obviously in Nissan, it's the most expensive insurance that you pay to get a, a main dealership to repair your car. And if you're prepared to let a garage repair it, then the insurance prices come way, way down. So as we weren't impressed with the Nissan at first, that the, the repairs they did to our car, we decided okay then it doesn't matter if, if we have an accident a garage is going to repair it and so i would imagine they have to bring it up to the same standard as as any repairs you can't have a, a bad repair if an insurance company is going to pay for it so we decided to to go with a lesser premium and to have the car repaired by a, a garage now as i say there was various prices it started off at nineteen and a half thousand the, the Nissan dealership came back with, oh, well, we'll, we'll do it for 17 and a half and then 15,000. And we looked around at various agents and the other agent came back at uh, 14 and 15,000 baht. And the insurance company that I'm going to put in the link below and tell you about a little bit later on in the video, it came out to be the best. And I would recommend this insurance company to anybody. They do a multitude of insurance with motorbikes, cars, houses, life insurance, up to the age of uh, 59 for medical insurance. And one of the insurances that I was impressed with is the COVID insurance. COVID insurance up to a million baht's worth of cover for 850 baht. And the way COVID is around the world now for 850 baht, I've taken it out myself and I think it's worth every penny of 850 baht. That's for the maximum coverage, so if you've got life-threatening illnesses and that through the COVID infection, it covers you for up to a million baht. So if you just got COVID and just had mild symptoms, it'll cover you up to 100,000 baht. Well worth the 850 baht premium for up to a million baht's worth of cover. They also do a smaller premium for 650 baht, but is it worth only having half a million baht's worth of cover for 200 baht? No, go for the 850 baht, but have a look at it, read all the small print and you'll see what it offers. So the insurance company, who is it? Okay, 
I'll put a link down below, Frank Insurance. So have a look at the insurance, click on the link below, that'll take you to the Frank Insurance website, and just have a look at all, all the insurances and what they offer. It's, it's simple to do, you just put in your details and it'll give you a quote online. So four, four or five of my friends now have taken out the insurance with Frank and every one of them saved good money. So the insurance deal that I got for my car was 500,000 bahts worth of cover and that was for a premium of 12,800 and it's a, to be repaired at a garage not at a dealership. I'm happy with that, as I say 500,000 baht for a total loss comparison to 19,500 baht from Nissan for a 380,000 baht total loss. So it pays to shop around. If you have a look at Frank and you like it and you're getting showed with it, give it a thumbs up for me, leave your comments down below so and tell me how much you've saved. Let's pass on this to other people so everybody can save money. If you take out the COVID insurance again, give it a thumbs up, let people know about it and share this video. For 850 baht for a million bahts worth of coverage for COVID, it's worth, worth every penny in my mind. So I'm going to do some other videos on saving money while slipping in Thailand. So I hope this has been helpful with the car insurance. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. Leave your comments down below. Subscribe and it'd be nice. Help my channel along. But from Les, retired and living the dream. Till the next time, bye for now.